What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here we are with another reaction video and so excited to jump into this one based off the title. 90% extreme poverty eradicated in seven years. That's crazy progress. Historic progress by India. It absolutely is historic. I cannot wait to jump in, see the numbers, hear the explanation, but that's truly, truly incredible. Before we dive into this video, if you would like to support the channel by becoming a member, all you got to do is hit that join button down below and receive exclusive benefits that I know you guys would enjoy. And without further ado, let's hear it. So this is a, a graph. And this gentleman says, it's this is just an incredible graph. Yeah, India is making it's absolutely insane. Amazing strides against poverty. Seven poverty years. Retreat in, retreat in India. Now, I've spoken about something that happened in 2016, which was demonetization. This obviously is mm. not connected to that. It may it may be connected to some extent. I've spoken about the impact that India's demonetization had on Pakistan. Mm. So, in 2016, India's uh, population that was living in extreme poverty was 124 million, Jeez. almost 10 to 8, 9 percent of India's population. That's, That's crazy. That's big. And see where it is today. That's amazing. Fifteen. India That's has incredible. got almost 110 million people out of extreme poverty. In and this was what? This video was two years in 2022? One year? So imagine. So I'm sure the number is even lower today at this point. Staggering achievement. Incredible. Incredible That's, achievement. That's uh, amazing. By, by the current government of India, the Narendra Modi government. Here is a more complete picture of how extreme poverty has gone down in India. So here you wow. see the details. The the dark red over here is the percentage of India that's living in extreme poverty. It wow. was about 140 million or so. So this tells you that the breakup of the entire thing. Dang. So even today, if you look at the people who are living above 40 a day, that's a very, very small number of people. But yeah. overall, what you would call the middle class is growing. And you are seeing after 20... Then maybe after 2016, how suddenly everything has changed drastically. Yeah. And this has been achieved despite <clears throat> the terrible hardship that the world underwent because of the coronavirus pandemic. When mm -hmm. entire nations were under lockdown, including India. It was very hard for India and India's people. And despite this, the government ensured that everybody is taken care of. Yeah. And look at the results. We've brought people out of extreme poverty. And yeah, that is an extremely incredible graph. Um, just to see that kind of progress by the Narendra Modi government, um, it just shows you what having a great leader for your country can do. It shows you the progress that you can make. And I'm just so like thrilled, so overjoyed with that many people coming out of extreme poverty because as humans, uh, you have to care about your fellow humans. You have to. And so to see that many people come out of extreme poverty is will always be such a beautiful thing. But for India to do that within a span of six, seven years is absolutely historic. It's special. And I think a lot of other countries need to look at India and take notes because a lot of countries have extreme poverty. Um, and so need to look at what India did, the leadership of Modi's government, whatever you got to look at, take the notes, figure out the formula and try to replicate the formula because people living in extreme poverty is unacceptable. If it can be helped, you feel me? If it can be helped, we've got, and we as a people, just don't leave it just up to the governments, but we as a people, reach out your hand help your fellow human um if you if you're able if you're able to then i would pray that you are willing to um like i said once again that's that's truly sensational there are there are details about all that over here so as you can see if india in india has the ability to solve its problems india yeah. is the only nation that can overtake the us in this century yeah india actually is is on track for doing that that's crazy to think about that's crazy because india's growth continues at six seven eight percent per year yeah around that figure 
for the next 20 or 30 years india will overtake the us as the largest economy that that's like legit mind blowing to think about because i don't know if anybody knows the number off the top of their head or like research can anybody like tell me cuz as long as i've lived the us has been the largest economy in the world and so at least for 29 years us has been the largest economy but how long has the us been at number 1 held that top spot of the largest economy in the world uh and so if somebody can drop that number in the comment section and the thing in 20 to 30 years if china continues the same trajectory and i guess u.s stays like growing up that very slow pace um the fact that not china i'm so sorry the fact that india could overtake china is just it's mind-blowing to think about um but like india is an incredible people um, it's an incredible country and I hope they continue to grow. But for that to happen, a lot of things need to go right. Mm -hmm. Including um, the right leadership has to be in, in power in India. Facts. The right, have to be Facts. The, right, uh, the right policies have to be in place and India has to ensure that India does not get embroiled in a major military conflict, at least for the next 10 years, minimum. Ideally 20 minimum. years. Yeah. Like Bruce Lee said, if you want to fight, the best way of fighting is to fight without fighting. It's to win without Preach. ever firing a single shot. So that, that's what India needs to find a way of doing. So the future looks bright for India. It's going to take time. It's not going to happen overnight. There are lots of problems. There are nations, very powerful nations. We know the usual suspects who don't want India to do well, who don't want mm. India to become a challenger in the future. And they will do their best. They will do their best to create trouble in India. That's where we started this podcast, this this episode. And that's where we end. So, and, you know, it's a big challenge for India. And that's what makes life interesting and worthwhile. Taking on a big challenge and striving to achieve it. Yeah. If there are no big challenges. Life is dull and boring. So there's this huge opportunity for India huge challenge for India and everybody can contribute in their own way. That's truly freaking awesome. Uh, but yeah, like I said, hopefully, um, and hopefully India doesn't get into a major military conflict. I know they have those tensions with China continuing to grow, but hopefully that never comes to a head and that clash never happens between the two countries. Um, and India just continues the growth pattern that they're on. Everything goes right and they just I don't know, they grow like crazy because I think if India was to become the number one economy in the world and they became the world leader, the number one superpower in the world, then I think India, I feel like, would lead the world on the true, like, on the right path. Um, I, I don't, although there's skepticism with that comes to power, I don't think India would take advantage of being that number one superpower of 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 all that power that they would have i think they would actually use their power to try to help others and i i really believe that about india but like you said after modi's done it has to be the right leadership that comes into place and stays into place and it keeps india on the same uh path that modi has them on but that's all we got let me know what you guys think about these numbers uh i'd be very intrigued to know your thoughts if you guys enjoyed that, please don't forget to subscribe, give the video a thumbs up, and then check out the next one. See you guys next time.